Hey everybody, Ray Hayden here, and this video is how I use a piece of cardboard to make a hood for uh, when I'm doing a drone flight, all right? I'm gonna give you a disclaimer here. If you hear any uh, names of any companies or products or anything like that, nobody's paying me anything for my opinion, or this is not a, uh, a sponsored video in any way, shape, or form. And also, if you find out you like this video, give me that thumbs up, like the video, make a comment below, let me know you came by to say hi. And uh, if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate the growth on the network. Let's talk about this hood. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna talk about the box it came from. Again, nobody's sponsoring this video. And it wouldn't really make sense for a video about a drone hood to talk about chewy pet food or supplies or whatever. Uh, but this particular box is uh, six by six, no, six inches here on the top flap, six inches on the bottom flap, six inches in the middle. So it's 18 inches tall, 12 inches wide, that's the perfect size for me to make. Kind of superimposed right on top there. There's my hood cover right there. You can use the whole length of the box. I just didn't put the phone in the center and I just cleaned it up just little bits here, here and there to make it work. All right, sliding our supplies back together here. I'm just gonna fold this together. You notice there's a cutout here and there's a cutout here, okay? They don't make any sense until I fold this thing together and um, <clears throat> Put those little flaps on the outside, all right? So you see this here is basically, that's where I end up having to put my USB-C connector in, but I wanna keep this extra flap of box just for a little bit of rigidity, all right? Because we lose something when we have to make that hole there for that. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and start clipping this thing together. These are called binder clips, and this is the small version. And I just go ahead and clip this together pretty much as far away from this back wall as I can. And I do the same thing over here on the other side. Now this is it, now we're pretty much done with that. All we have to do is put our smartphone in there and mount it up on this tripod, which is really where it gets interesting. And then um, we'll go ahead and finish that off. Now I wanna mention something about these clips. <clears throat> this is a clip for a smartphone. I got this for free with something I purchased. They sent this along too, I thought it was pretty cool and it can be mounted, mounted from this side or from the bottom of the uh, thing, but it also has a spring on it. All right, it has pretty good teeth to hold on to our, our phone there too, right? So there's pretty good teeth on that, but it's just not enough and it's not a secure enough of a thing for me to put my cell phone on and then put a big piece of cardboard on top of it. I don't find enough security in that. This one here, however, yet another free one that I got, um, has a screw. You have, to un you have to loosen the screw to get it to go uh, wide and then tighten the screw back in to lock things down. So you see the idea here is we're gonna lock this down with the cell phone, but we're gonna put the cell phone in this box. Notice that the cell phone hangs down below. And I'll show you why that is right now. I wanna hook onto the bottom of the cell phone here with the clamp and that hole that's in the top over there, this one here, the shorter hole, I want to uh, make sure the top of the clip gets in there and holds onto my cell phone. So I have the cell phone in place. I just have to go up to the top now and clamp it down. And just make sure that it is indeed locking onto your cell phone. You just want to make sure that that thing doesn't fall out, right? Don't over tighten this thing. You don't want to put too much pressure on your, on your smartphone and then cost yourself more money. Also notice that this big flappy lid, you can take this off, you can make it shorter, whatever you want to do with it. I decided I was gonna leave this on because it could be held up and it could be let to hang down, all right? So I'll talk about that in a little bit. And so, but once our cell phone's uh, secure on there, we can put it on the, on the tripod, all right? Just check it for security and everything else. Now, see how that's, fl that's flopping down? I can't see my screen, all right? So it's like, what am I doing? I can't see my screen. Well, I can. All I have to do is put this clip on here at the very top See, right along the top here, I put these, and I don't fold these clips back on these ones. I leave them straight out, and they hold that up higher. So now I can, you know, this thing comes out pretty far, so it provides that much more shade down below the box, right? And so that's it. You know, we're done. Done and done. But what if we want a little bit more? For some reason, somehow, some way, we're getting a little bit too much light in from another direction. I made a bottom of the box. I want you to notice two things. The bottom is not as uh, wide. It's got, that's to leave space here because we need to get in and touch our screen. That's why the whole bottom is empty as a matter of fact. 
So we need to touch our screen sometimes. But I got two more of these clips. And what I do is I try to clip the very top to the very bottom. And that's to give me room so I can see my screen, right? So I clip these on to where the very top and the very bottom are together. Because when I fold this up, and I do the same thing on this side over here, and you might want to make some mi you know, minor adjustments, whatever, that's fine. But you get these set up, all right? And now you can see the whole screen, because if I pushed it all the way up, you wouldn't be able to see the whole screen. Right? So the more of this material you hang on to without trimming it up so much on the sides, right, then the lower and more room you can have. But you can also reach up behind the box and get your fingers in there and get some things done. This is the total part of this box. Now, if you didn't need this thing here at all, you could uh, do a number of different things with it, um, including just cutting it off. But, but you can flip it back further and then clamp it down. If I had another clamp, I could probably clamp that down somehow there too. Um, but so, so you can do that. But I prefer to have it to where it can hang down. And the reason for that is I can tilt the camera up to a point where that thing is not. And I can lower my tripod down to a point where that's not going to. So if I'm sitting down or standing up or whatever it is, how I'm operating my drone, um, I have that option. Uh, so now I'm going to just pluck these off here. And those, those are the four. Those are the four extra uh, uh, bins. And then this this flat. I just I can fold it up like so. Put it in my box bag, whatever, and, and go along. But there's one more thing that we have to be aware of. <clears throat> it's the fact that when we got our controller and everything else, it has that little wire. It has a short, a really short USB wire. I have that too, here. So it has this little USB to USB and or USB to iOS cable in it. All right, but it's USB-C to USB-C, all right? And this just fits in there and wraps around the antenna connections and, and things of that nature. But if I had a longer cable, and lo and behold I do, which is the same thing, then I can get a little bit further away. My controller is lighter and I'm not worried about dropping my cell phone the whole time. And I plug it in. Now I got this much more mobility, keep my eyes on the drone and then when I need to look at something that the drone's looking at to take a picture, line up a shot, do what I'm, whatever I'm doing, then I can get back, you know, watch it, watch my, keep my eyes on the drone, we have to, then take a look at what I'm trying to capture, get that job done. So just a simple, simple cardboard box, a couple of cuts, make sure you got access to your USB-C port, and make sure that you provide uh, a way to clamp it so your phone is clamped on nice and strong. I need this piece of cardboard, by the way, along the back that goes behind here. That's what holds everything together. That's what holds this thing nice and tight and all that. And then this clamps on a cell phone. So basically, it's like a little cell phone sandwich there. The cell phone, then the cardboard, then the uh, clamp that holds it all in. As a matter of fact, let's use, we can do it like that, right? So if we had a cell phone in front of this, actually, let's fold this flat and just simulate that it's actually clipped on, right? So we got the the bracket that's holding this cell phone on that we're using to monitor things that we're doing with our drone, that has a cardboard thing on it, and then our cell phone sits inside. So it's a nice little sandwich thing. We need this part here along the back to secure everything together. All right, so that's, you know, and by the way, if you mess this up, try it again. If you say, oh, well, that didn't work, I see what happened, do it again, right? Because when I look at the um, smartphone here, on the, uh, pull this off real quick, Unt untwist this to loosen it up and take that off. So when I look on here, I'm thinking, well, I really didn't need this because I, I don't have enough room for this. But what I did is I took my smartphone out of the very large uh, rubberized uh, protection thing that it had, and that allows me to fit it in there because with that rubber thing on there, it was not secure at all. But now putting it in, you know, taking it on, and I'm, I'm strapping it down to a tripod. You know, the thing's pretty darn secure. And again, another really important thing is I have to not put pressure on these three buttons because you're sitting to hold the buttons the whole, down the whole time. All kinds of crazy things are going to be going on on your screen, and it's not going to go well. So take the strain off of your buttons by taking that hole there. This hole right here is only as wide as your uh, clamp for your cell phone. 
And if you can use a screw down type, uh, they're very inexpensive and they do the job in this case very, very well. But if you want a more sturdy, heavy duty uh, one, you can look online and find one of those from your favorite reseller. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up with this video. Um, very short, very quick, easy to do, even though the video is long, sorry about that, but the fact of the matter is, I think, you know, for relatively for free, constantly, anytime you get delivery to your house and it has a firm enough box and you can get at least, what, 12, this is uh, six and six is 12, all right, 15, 16 inches here, or 18 inches, right? And 12 inches wide, you can make a drone cover, a hood for flying your drone, all day long, six ways from Sunday, and you're cooking with gas, all right? So that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.